All right. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today's special guest is Benita Capuano. You know, I pronounced that correctly. It's not Capilano like the honey. Um, but you may have seen Benita's uh, posts on the group um, since, I guess, since we started. Uh, Benita's um, someone that we engaged with early on um, to get a little bit of um, her content um, and some of the stuff that she does in her business and, and some advice from her on, on how to, to get through this uh, this challenging time and, and Benita spent a lot of time in the travel industry as well. So, um, you know, really good link between what she's doing now and, and, and obviously the knowledge of what all you guys are going through. So welcome, uh, Benita. And, you know, Thanks, there will be definitely some people out there that know you personally and, and some people have probably just seen the posts and what you're all about. So, but um, there probably will be a, a few people that don't know who you are as well. So yeah. given that, um, tell us who you are, give us your backstory. Where, where you're up to and, and what you're doing at the moment and why you're sitting here today. Just stuff. Hi everyone. Um, yes, Bonita Capuano. I was in the, I've been in the travel industry, like I started there in 2006 to about to last year, 2019. So what's that, 13 years. Um, doing different stuff and moved around a bit. So travel agent, events, corporate, leisure, group stuff, mentoring, um, leadership, business mentoring, business coaching, met Josh at GSA, um, which is great. And so um, through doing that for a lot of years and being in the travel industry, I found through coaching and through mentoring, I was probably talking to people more about them and their lives and their personal stuff rather than their business stuff sometimes, <laughs> um, which was just a great segue to um, what I'm really passionate about, which is people, human behaviour, um, helping them bring out the best in them themselves and move out of the stuckness if they're feeling stuck and creating a life that they're really excited about. And so, yeah, that brought me to my business, which is where I do group coaching. Um, well, I do group events, group programs, face-to-face -face and all that human connection, so face-to-face one-on-one um, -on -one mentoring and I also work in some businesses and do wellness programs so wellness stuff there so I collaborated all the stuff that I love and uh, yeah put it together what, um, what would you what would you call yourself if someone said what do you do for a living um, probably a personal coach I think I'm going with that at the moment. This is hard to do the, the, the titles. <laughs> I don't like any of the titles. Yeah. But I, I guess personal coach. Yeah. I think that's that, that's pretty good. And and then you don't have to call yourself a life coach then either. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't like that word. <laughs> hey, uh, how's uh, how's social distancing going for you? What's uh what's that look like in your life? Well, firstly, I do not like the word social distancing. <laughs> Okay. actually gets to me because they're saying social distancing and then they're encouraging us to be super social and super social. So I prefer physical distancing. Um, we're keeping a physical distance, but uh, trying to keep some connection, hopefully, in our lives. Um, it's been good and not so good, like good that it's made me just take a pause on um, some things in my business that I can work on. Um, and people have been giving me good recommendations on what to do. So I've watched Billions from start to, I'm up to date now. So that's good. I love that show now. And Michael yes. Jordan's on the doco. If anyone doesn't know me, Michael Jordan is my hero and I love him. Everything that I'm learning, the doco already knew, but I just, I'm so excited. I love him. So I've got to do that. So that's fantastic. Um, but it's been hard just being home. I've been home for probably my ninth or ninth week, 10th week. I don't know. I've been home for a long time and all I see is my husband who he works every day because he's a carpenter. So he's an essential worker. And uh, so he's the only person I see. And he's a lot quieter than me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so when he gets home, he just wants to relax. And I'm like, talk to me. <laughs> <That's not. laughs> uh, look, most people are a lot quieter than you, Benita, let's be honest. This is true. This is true. But um, for that part, not seeing people not going so, out. Yeah. So as you said, obviously being at home and not being able to get out much, has that affected the business and, and the stuff that you've been doing with the, the workshops and the, and the coaching, the mentoring? Um, how's that kind of um, working out for you? 
It was good because as soon as we kind of went in, I was like, okay, what can we do to stay connected? Because my business is all about um, helping people and serving people and not just the come to a course or whatever, it's the in-between stuff, which is where all the stuff happens. So what can we do? And because I, it probably works because I love being connected to it. I love face-to-face -face stuff. So um, we set up weekly Zoom calls. So we all catch up on weekly um, touch base Tuesdays catch up on a Tuesday um, and get together. We just Every week we have a different topic and we talk about that. It's been really interesting to see different people's views on what's going through. Um, we've got a WhatsApp group as well that we all part people I've worked with, either through um, coaching the group or the um, people I've just done one-on-one -on -one coaching with. So we're in a WhatsApp group so we can talk there. So that's been great. Um, stay connected to people and I send out weekly newsletters, uh, you know, good vibes to just hopefully help people through this time. So there's that connection there as well. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. And as you said, obviously the business has been going with about seven months now, did you say? Yeah. Yeah. So that's obviously great to be connected with your existing, I guess, people and existing um, customers, I guess you could call them. Um, what have you thought? from your business perspective or what have you kind of been trying to do to still maintain some growth or, or attract potential customers or attract, you know, people to, to your business? What, what have you been doing in that space? Um, I've taken, I've spoken to a lot of my customers, like my people. So I've um, spent like time just having chats with them. So setting up times like this and just chatting to them for like, I think our conversations have been going for about two, two and a half hours per person just really um, getting to know my my people and what, what it is that they really want, what is it that they need, what is it that um, makes them feel good, like really getting to know them. I've been doing it for like seven months and getting out there and trying stuff. So it's been really a good time to just stop, reset and speak to my people and get to know them even more. So that's been really good. Um, and it's helped me create better content and the ideas are going mental. So got a lot in place now that I didn't have before. So you're kind of <laughs> sort of working on still the, the people that you've got and, and the business that you've got and then using that what is a platform to go learn from, learn learn from, from, from yeah. So and then to, that take the business, you know, wherever it goes after. Uh, yeah, because yeah. I can come up with all the stuff in the world and think there's this is great stuff that I'm coming up with or creating. But if it's not what people want and it's not what resonates with them, then it doesn't work. So I want to create stuff that they want and stuff that they is going to help them. And what better way to do that instead of just guessing or thinking I know, um, speak to them. And, and for, it's been fabulous. And for me, a bit of a light bulb, I guess, just then thinking from a travel agent's point of view is, you know, a lot of travel agents out there right now are going to be thinking about, you know, advertising domestic. You know, I did a post the other day about, you know, what what domestic products you're thinking, you know, what what experiential style product that's not just a couple of nights down the coast, but you know, how can how can you promote or inspire your customers to to want to visit certain places in Australia that are going to be exciting and enticing enough to, you know, to want to engage the services of a travel agent and, and all of those things. You know, what better opportunity than actually contacting your customers and calling them and going, hey, if you were going to travel domestic, if you were going to do something this year when they open, what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Um, as, a, as opposed yeah, to trying to guess. To... Yeah, and I was totally going to suggest that is call your customers, like call them, ask them what are they looking for, not only about where are they going, how do they want to get there, what are how do they want to feel? What's important to them at this point? Is it, some people are going to go, I need to know that I'm safe, everything's clean. Others are going to be like, I don't care, just get me out of here. But you, you'll find, what you'll notice is when you're calling your customers, is there's a theme, there's generally a theme. And to find that theme and create something for them versus trying to be something to everyone. My customers are very unique um, type of people. I'm learning more and more about them so I can deliver what they they need versus what I think everyone needs. It's it's too it's too vague, it can, becomes too generic, it loses its personality, it loses its emotion. So most of the people out there have already got a customer base. Um, 
and they've got ones that they probably gel with more than others. So to attract more of those, ring the ones that you love and yeah. learn more about them. There's, they've probably got friends that are just like them. Yeah. And, you know, engaging with your customers, you know, putting a post up on your Facebook business page or, or whatever it is that you're doing and getting the odd like or, or getting, you know, a little love heart or something like that, you know, that's not necessarily engaging in your customer and really understanding what their needs, wants are, dreams, where they want to go or, or how they want to feel when they're going on holidays, as you said. So it just, it's, for me, it just, it's a no brainer. Like you, you, you have to yeah, pick up the phone, totally. you have to speak to them, you have to find out what they're thinking and, and how they're feeling about the whole situation because otherwise you're just yeah. throwing stuff up in the air and, and hoping it lands somewhere. Totally, um, yeah. You know, and we're not relying on Katrina Roundtree and Getaway or, or whatever to, you know, inspire, you know, our next travel destination. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, and it's, it's good for you as well because it takes out all the guessing game. Like, you're tr no doubt people out there are trying their best and have been trying their best for a long time and you're throwing out stuff and you're like, why isn't it working? Why isn't it sticking? It's because you, you, you may be guessing too much versus just asking, just ask. Yeah. Um, actually, just on that, probably like, I've got a list of questions I use. If people are interested, I can make up some questions or share some questions that they can use as a template to ring their customers if they're keen on trying that. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. It'd be cool because I guess a, a lot of the agents at the moment, especially the customers they'll be interacting with it, are probably customers they've had for some time. Um, yeah. And we spoke about this, I think, the other day with Carolyn and, and Michelle, and that was that, you know, the conversations or the interactions or, or the way that you speak to your customers um, on the other side of this, even your existing ones are going to be different to the conversations you used to have before. You know, it used to be, hey, Jack, how's things? You know, are we off to X, Y, Z again this year? Um, you know, is it Qantas, business class? Yep, no worries. I'll put it all together for you and I'll send it through. You know, that's just just not the conversation that we're able to have anymore. Them in the meantime, it could give them some purpose at the moment as well. If you're ringing your customers and you're finding out where they're at and what they need, they, they might need stuff now. Like, yep. not, I can't even think about, you know, they could be, I can't even think about travel right now, but what I would like is X, Y, Z. And you can go around creating that and creating and maintaining that relationship in this time when they can't travel. And that's people, you know, they say that pandemics or crises, whatever, really show true people, you know, and what they're about. So this is a great time to prove to your customers that you really do care, you are engaged you care about them as a person, not just as about as customer, but as an actual human being. What better way to do that? Reach out, have a chat about them, their needs, their wants, and create stuff that they want. Yeah. And what do you think? I mean, obviously there's a few things there that, you know, agents should be necessarily focusing on. What do you think? What do you think they should be thinking about? Uh, what do you think maybe the other side of the industry could look like? Um, you know, you've stepped away from the industry sort of seven months ago. Um, you know, from an outsider looking in now, you know, what, what's your opinion or what's, what's your thoughts on, on, you know, what it could look like and, and what agents possibly should be thinking about, you know, going towards that, that right. other yeah, side? Right. Um, probably two things here. One thing is now is a great time to really stop and reflect and go, what do I want to be doing with my life? Love, a que love that question. I love yeah. when I say it in my progress. People are like, but Nia, like, seriously, slow. And I'm like, well, we're here. Let's just do it. Like, what do I want to do with my life? Um, now's a good time to really think about what you want to do with your life. And I've seen some of the on your page last time. And, um, and the why and the purpose and all that kind of stuff, which I totally am all for. And creating, like, what is my purpose? What have I come here to do? Is it in what I'm doing now? If it's not, okay, let's let's figure it out. What is it? And use this time to figure it out. And because that that's a good life. Doing you know what you want to do and who you are, and combining the two and your natural abilities, your natural personality with something that you do every day is like gold. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now's a great time to to rethink about that and stop because a lot. I know. With, being in the industry that a lot of people have been around for a long time and it's just what they do and they haven't had time to reflect it's just what I do I'm in it now's a great time to go well I'm not in it at the moment is this where I want to be so for the people that are going you know what I don't know there's some doubt there figure out stop and figure out your purpose again I've probably helped with some stuff there 
send some through some things that will get them thinking. So there's that. And then there's other people that are going, yep, I'm all about travel. I've got purpose in it. I love it. And for those ones, you're the ones that should go and speak to 10, 20 of your customers and do what we just spoke about. Yeah. That is a great way to come out of this and be, don't wait for your bosses or your managers or Retrina Rountree, what's her name? Retrina Rountree. Let's do that and save that. Um, to tell you where to go is you create it yourself. So, yeah, yeah I think that's a, a good way to spend your time as well. And I think understanding, you know, and taking the time Especially to reflect. Frozen. Am I? He's back. I'm back. Um, but yeah, taking time to understand this is what I want to do. This is who I am. And this is, you know, this is how I want to be on the other side. It's only going to give you that drive, I guess, to do whatever's necessary over this time, which is to continue. If you are still working and you're still engaged with your customers, is continue to, to do the refunds, to do the cancellations, to do the but stuff it's day in, day in. For you, it's okay. Yeah. And then, you know, once it, 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 it's, it's knowing that if I'm going to talk about Tommy Charlie. Here you go. Um, and I guess if you're asking those questions and there's some doubt there that that is okay, uh, people, you know, I shouldn't be thinking this. This is what I've always done. I've spent so many years in it. It's, I, I get it. It's, hello, I was in it for 13 years too and go, oh, it's not, maybe not where my passion is anymore or, or there's a different purpose I want to be fulfilling and that's okay I'm still using a lot of what I've learned over the years for sure a lot of um of course a lot of that stuff has been relevant so it's okay you'll be fine just with the maybe a bit of support guidance you'll, you'll be good and what about um what about the travel industry what do you think it's going to look like on the other side travel what industry think? what are you going to look like what, what's your crystal um, ball look like I don't think I'm going to dabble in the crystal ball prediction space. Uh, <laughs> it's, I don't know, for me, I'm just trying not to live in the what is, what it coulds because who knows the realms are endless. Um, I, I want to play in the I hope space of I hope we take this time to learn and to grow and to not actually get back to normal because a lot of the things that have been happening in the travel industry, the normal wasn't working. Some of it was, yeah, cool, but some, a lot of it wasn't. And so if we come back to normal, well, what was the point of all that? We've just been given this time to stop, reflect, work our shit out. And if we're going to go back to that, it, I don't know, what was it all for? So I would love to see a different, better industry that serves their customers, that is great for the, the agents as well, that they're getting fulfillment out of what they do. That it, it's a different industry in the sense that it's, it's learned and it's grown in this time to be what it wasn't before. Yeah, I agree. I think <laughs> if we don't take the time to, to fix the problems or, or to iron out the things that we probably didn't have an opportunity to because as you said you know they're just kind of it's like the industry was in that the the, the long-term relationship that was well this is just kind of how we've always done it and it's so we just continue to keep doing it you know because you yeah. don't have you don't have any time to to, to not because you know oh. every every day continues you know planes take off and and cruise ships leave and hotels need to be filled and you know, shops need to open, you know, seven day trades or whatever it is, you know, it's kind of like a 20, it's like a 24 hour takeaway that doesn't have a chance to clean the Bain Marie. You oh know, like, I, I just you know, know being I mean? an agent, it was mental. There was, just, I still had PTSD about it. It's just, I, I get it. There was so much going on and that's why it's like we have this time now and it might suck for some of us. What can we sit? What can we, how can we use some of the good though? And, work some stuff out for ourselves and for what we want it to look like, feel like. Yeah, you know, there's... What else, what else are we doing with our time? <laughs> Give it a thought. Give it a thought, you know, work-life balance, flexibility in work. Um... Well, even what I like to use instead of balance, I'm not a fan of work-life balance because there's no such thing. It's always out of balance, a little bit of BS. Um, I'm into work-life integration. 
because we're, work should be an extension. I hate that word should, shouldn't use that. Work is an extension of who you are so that you go to work every day and you don't put on your work hat. You don't have to change your personality. You don't have to be someone that you're not. It's I am who I am at work and at home. And that's when you really light up. That's when you bring your personality, your ideas, your innovation, because you don't have to change. It's I am who I am. So if we integrate the two and they're the one thing, that's when magic happens. That's when the business is loving life because they're getting this amazing human being, this human being's loving life because they get to do all the great stuff that's inside them. And how can, how can individ individuals contribute to that? You know, in, instead of waiting for someone to do it for them, what should they be doing individually, do you think, to create that, you know, integration or that, you know, life-life balance I've heard it used before as well. There's no such thing as work-life balance. It's just life yeah, altogether. Just life. Sometimes you're at work and sometimes you're not and sometimes you're asleep and sometimes you're awake. Yeah. You know, what, what can it, what could the individuals, what can the agents out there that, you know, are in control of their own destiny, I guess, at the moment, what could they be doing that will take them closer towards that um, if they're not already probably there? Probably what we mentioned before to really think about what is their purpose, what is their why, what do they value? What are their values? Um, this is all stuff that I do in my, my courses because I really believe this is important foundation stuff of, about understanding ourselves. You know, a lot of us left school, you go through life and you, we don't stop to go, okay, what do I value and what's important to me? So if someone can get out there and maybe think about what it is they want. Um, there's lots of stuff out there now. And like I said, I can maybe send through some of my stuff and that will help them start to think about what is their purpose and what do they value what's important to them that you know there's people out there that may be doing corporate jobs that they really care about the environment or there's people even on the, on here that are working in um, roles that aren't dealing with the customer and they love customer they love human, human interaction or people that enjoy the technical side of it but it, they love putting the itineraries together, but they do have to deal with people and the people is like draining the life out of them. So really what, what bits are important to you? What's, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you've got to go and change it tomorrow. It's just find the process of getting thinking and getting connected with who you are and who you want to be. Cool. And what about personal stuff? What, um, what do you think the agents or that just people in general, what's your advice um, out there at the moment? Um, for people going through this challenge and going through this physical distancing, isolation, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, what's what's your take on it all? What do you think people should be focusing on or, or could be focusing on um, just to get through it all? Um, what is my take? Uh, it, there's so much you can do, but then it feels like, oh, there's just something more we can do and... I, I feel bad if I'm not doing that. They said that this is good and then I'm not doing it so then I feel bad but I don't have time because the kids are at home or whatever and it's all fair. So I guess my advice is find something in, in the day, at least if it's even for five minutes, that makes you smile, that makes you happy and stop beating yourself up. Like No doubt you're doing the best you can um, and to be kind to yourself and maybe have some perspective about this is what it is right now and the grand scheme of our life is a short time in our, in our lifespan. And to have some perspective over that, which helps us not to be so in it, because when we're in it, that's when the stress and the anxiety and the <gasps> what's going to happen, the uncertainty. But it's definitely going to change. Things are going to change. The only constant is change. So things will change. We will come out of this. It's knowing that in the moment when you're feeling unsure or uncertain is things are going to change. It's okay how can I just have a little bit of fun? I just take the piss all the time. And that just kind of makes me fun. <laughs> when things are really like, oh, my God, I'm like, all right, Benita, get some perspective. Or, you know, first world problems. I would, I, even if things are bad at the moment, I generally, is it a first world problem in the sense, not saying that those problems aren't real, yeah. but to be grateful. And this is where gratitude comes in. It really gives us some perspective about, well, we've got to, hopefully we've got a home and, you know, we're wearing warm clothes or we got up this morning and, you know, whatever we can be grateful for. That's where gratitude comes in is it gives us perspective to get us out of this feeling of anxiousness. Or, so just be kind to yourself, have fun, have a laugh, take a kiss. Yeah, I, I agree. I think perspective's key. 
um, find things that, you know, you enjoy or have a laugh or make a smile. Um, but also at the same time, as you said, this kind of first world problem concept, I don't think, I don't think the, the, I guess, using the starving kids in Africa argument that has always been used to make your kids eat dinner or, you know, whatever it is, no one really, people can only really see their own problems and their own stuff that's happening around them. So it is hard to, to detach yourself from your own little world um, and go, you know, well, there's always somebody worse off. But there is, and there, you know, if you can get some form of perspective to get that gratitude for what it is that you've got, I think it definitely helps yeah. you through. For me, even the other the other day, just um, on the with the kids side of things, is that I I always feel a little bit um, a little bit anxious around how good the kids have it, and this might be controversial for some people, but um, you know. Growing up, you always want to give your kids whatever you didn't necessarily have yourself um, and you give them everything and every opportunity. And, and really, the kids of today are very, very well looked after, very well spoiled. Um, they don't want for anything. They've got all their iPads and, and all bits and pieces to, to live a really comfortable life. Any opportunity to kind of give your kids a different perspective or, or to give them some sort of resilience or to kind of give them that figuratively punch in the face that they probably, you know what I mean? Like they don't, they, they never really have an opportunity to. The kids will come out of this, you know, a lot better um, and a lot stronger and a lot more resilient for it. And it's that resilient word gets thrown around a lot, but I, I just, it's I just think it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's just, a bit of grit. It's an opportunity. If you're always looking for a silver lining, you know, every time there's really big challenges in, in whatever happens, you know, it'll just create stronger, more resilient, better people. And whether that's better travel agents because we fix some problems in the industry or we fix some problems in ourselves and the way we've operated or the way we've looked after our customers or whatever, or just, you know, personal stuff or professional. Um, I think yeah. you, you're right. You find the gratitude, find the perspective, understand the silver lining and, you know, figure out a way to have a bit of a chuckle every day. And, and yeah. And, and, just look at past experiences of your life where you thought something was going to be really bad. And like, I've done this a million times. I'm like, it's going to be so bad. If, you know, even doing what I've done of starting my own business and leaving my job, it took me a long time to go, I can't do that. I can't give up my income. I was getting paid really well. And I can't, it just won't work. And it's amazing that, it, you know, it, it's, it's working. Like, we're still okay. You just don't know... You know, and I don't have a trust fund, <laughs> anything like that. I don't have um, that sort of stuff. So it, it, I'm an everyday person that just went, let me try some stuff. So I get it when you're feeling anxious and you're like, well, I can't. It's just, yeah, it's never as bad as what we think it's going to be. So just try and have a bit of a laugh about it or just, yeah, stop being so serious. We're very serious people, I think, these days. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's so much seriousness in the world, and I don't know, if world news is not helped with that, and yeah, other countries are a lot more serious than we are. We've lost our Australian cool, carefree, like yeah, just a little bit of lightness. Yeah, I agree, mate. Mate, that's uh, I think for me, I mean, that's been really helpful. I'm sure um, a lot of the agents out there, if they're watching and, and have managed to make their way all the way to the end of this. Um, would have got some great value, value Thank out of it you. as well. Thanks for staying if you've stayed um, along, people. Yeah, there's, there's no prize at the end, but well done for staying. Um, but what we will do, mate, is we will um, yeah, grab some of those bits and pieces off you and, and some links to anything that you can provide or any extra value. Yeah, um, cool. You know, that you know, even if there's only a few people out there that find it, find it valuable, um, then, you know, we're happy to share this stuff. Yeah, sure, sure. And if you want, um, yeah, I can leave the link as well if you want to, every week I'm sending out some stuff that might help you. So anyway, I can help. Leave some yeah. comments, I guess. Leave some comments. That's what people do. Leave some comments. Yeah, yeah. Um, and ask what you need because you're my customer. You know, yeah. you're my people. So what do you need? And I will do what I can to provide that. Yeah, awesome, mate. All right. Well, uh, thanks heaps, mate. Um, as I said, I think people got plenty of value out of that. Um, you're an absolute legend and we appreciate you spending the time with us today. So thank you. Thanks, JT. No thank worries. You, Talk soon. See you, mate. Bye. Bye.